Welcome to today's Focus Friday Additive Tips edition. This will be a two-part series where we go over cutting STL files. This week, we're gonna go over simple 2D cutting, utilizing our clip planes tool, and also advanced cutting where we create a uh, cylinder cut with pins and holes, pins and hooks, and also a groove joinery cut. I have a large part on here that uh, our visual platform and net fab is 450 by 420 by 400. So you can see this is a large part that we're gonna need to cut most likely for 3D printing. Go into our top view here. Um, you can get rid of this platform by using your hotkey control P to get rid of that to make cutting a little easier. And utilizing our X, Y, Z axis, you can uh, left mouse click in the rectangle box. And what it does, it puts a line in that axis like you see here on the red. And you can use a slider and slide right to the area that you wanna cut. You can also put in the millimeters. Um, let's say I wanted to put this cut at uh, you know, 390, for example, I get a more accurate cut by just inputting that and it moves the line to where I need it to be. We can um, close that out. And typically I like to just uh, go right down here to the uh, icon for cutting, which opens up this dialog. You can also go to the modify ribbon under cut, uh, plain cut, we'll do the same thing. It'll open this up. But the quickest way is just to, uh, Go right here after you move your clip plane tool to where you want to cut. Just go right here. Make sure you have the right settings. I don't want to group joinery cut here, so I'll check that. Typically, you want to have you want to stitch the parts when you do a cut. You want to close the cutting area that's been cut. Um, you may want to remove the original part or create a group of cut parts. I'm going to hit cut here, and it will cut this part. I can use the uh, gizmo tool just to look here and see that I've made a quick 2D cut. The red is just your um, line. If you unclick that, you won't see the line anymore. We'll do an undo here and go back to our X uh, clip tool here and show you the pins and holes feature. I'm gonna slide and we're gonna make a cut on this airplane right about there. Go back to the cut icon. And this time we're gonna use the automatic pen creation. We can look at pen settings. We have two different options for pen types. We have the cylinder with the hole. You can also um, put um, where, when you do the pens and holes here, you can have both sides have holes where you can put, you know, for instance, if you have a thin part, sometimes people buy metal pens and, and uh, put it, you know, have the holes for the metal pen, you glue in there, it gives it more strength. Um, we're gonna uh, not do that. And we're gonna create these uh, cylinders and holes. You can adjust these settings. I'll hit apply here just to quickly show you this quick cylinder and hole feature. We have the cylinders here and the holes there. And we also had a clearance of 0.2 to be able to glue that back in. Let me undo that and go back and show you a the, the holes and hooks feature of cutting here. Going back to our automatic pen, pen settings. I was talking about that clearance there. You wanna be able to make sure when you put these parts together, you have clearance for the glue. So point two works out very well. Uh, we'll try the hook feature here. And you're actually gonna make these little pens that hook and then uh, you put the two, for example, it works well on plastic parts that have a little give because you're clipping this right in there and it'll be like a permanent clip. So I'm gonna hit apply and we'll cut that and we'll show you what that looks like. And we can turn off this little checkbox there and you'll see you have these little clips here that slide into the little uh, holes here, little square holes here and clips. So that's like a permanent uh, um, bond there. Um, so you have to make sure, um, you know, you put the right settings in there. You can adjust these to put less pins or more pins and you have ways of making them bigger or smaller. And last but not least, we want to show you the groove joinery cut. So let me undo that twice and we'll put that clip line back on the part here. We want to cut here and use the groove joinery cut. 
you want to select that, make sure you uncheck the automatic pin creation. And we can look at the uh, groove joinery settings here. Basically, this is a, uh, a cut that does a plug and socket type cut. Very uh, good cut for like figurine type models and stuff because it, the cut follows the contour. Um, you know, with this plug in um, socket type cut, you'll see here. We'll hit apply, cut that. And you see we have this nice plug, but you can make this a larger uh, plug and a deeper um, hole on this side if, if need be for a particular part. But this was just showing you quick ways to cut apart uh, using simple 2D cutting, using the clip planes tool and also advanced cutting utilizing the uh, cuts where you use the uh, holes and pins, pins and hooks, and the groove joinery cut. Thanks again for being on this week's Additive Focus Friday Additive Tips.